Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dee and this is Marcus Talkers. Today I want to talk about metrics and improving your trading results. Most people are way too emotional to sit down and observe the market without getting involved to first learn how the market breathes, how it behaves before even pulling a trigger on that demo account. Because most people actually operate on it's moving, I must get in sort of strategy. The whole idea of today's video is that if you gather all of the trades that you've done so far, the more the better actually, then you'll have a pretty interesting picture of yourself in numbers already. For this, you're gonna need some kind of a journaling software, which I'll also go over. Let's get into it. But before we get into it, you need to press that like button because it really helps the channel to get discovered by other people who are on a similar quest to yours. All right, now that that's out of the way and you've clicked the like button, let's get into it for real this time. When it comes to trader journaling and any kind of data analytics software, I've recently been acquainted with Edgewonk. Well, I mean, I say recently, I kind of knew they existed, but about a year and a half ago, one of my gold traders in my coaching portal mentioned that they really, really like it because of its flexibility and a lot of unique features such as custom metrics and even missed trades. Custom metrics in particular can be technical or even psychological. You can also create custom setups that you can attach to every trade that you do. So I decided to have a look at it myself and honestly, it, they've done a really good job. Out of the most journaling platforms that I've seen so far, and you know, I've seen plenty, the only one that I felt can come quite close to it is Journalytics. However, even Journalytics at a much higher cost doesn't actually have the same features as Edgewonk. Being able to put down missed trades and then to track them as any kind of other piece of statistical data, that's something that will be relevant to you and your specific issues during the open trades. And honestly, that's probably the, the most important thing for a trader's development, which existing metrics really matter for your performance because it's not necessarily gonna be the ones that you might think, like accuracy percentage and humongous risk reward on your trades. A much more important metric that you want to take advantage of is, for example, time of day. In Edgewonk, you can see this when you go uh, to performance by time. Now, if we look at this trader, he's doing okay generally because he's one of my market stalkers. So the consistency is already pretty good across the board. But clearly there are times of day when this trader would benefit from staying out of the market altogether in an effort to improve performance. For example, you have London noon when most of the losses occur. So one way to use this metric to start improving your results right away is to look for your worst time of day. Make that into your custom metric, a custom statistic that you can do in Edgewonk. And then what you want to do is to work on getting your paws off the mouse and the computer and your trading desk in general until that historically worst time of day is over. <laughs> so this will be something specific to you. It's not going to be the same as your mate Dave or me or you know some other guy that you might have randomly met on the internet. <laughs> it's going to be something that you keep doing that is harming your performance quite a bit. So remove that and immediately you will have some sort of a jump in performance. The second metric that you may want to consider is to uh, check which instrument, which product is best for you and which one is the worst. Again, this will be individual to what you're doing. This is in cases where you trade more than one product, which honestly, when it comes to any kind of skill development is not really a great idea right off the bat. But I understand that some people like to experiment. However, always keep in mind that more is not better in trading. And obviously that goes for the number of products that you're choosing to actively trade in your portfolio. The shorter the time frame that you're trading, the less instruments you should trade because it becomes very, very difficult to focus with extraordinary amount of detail uh, with TPOs and market profiles, supply and demand, session ranges, daily ranges, like there's a lot of stuff to think about. Now, if we go back to our trader who kindly provided uh, the Edgewonk results, this trader actually traded Forex before they came to me. 
Now, I started in Forex many, many moons ago. Forex was lucrative at one point, but unfortunately, because of low interest rates and a whole bunch of other things, Forex is pretty much dead. So the problem with this particular trader wasn't even with their skills. It was the market they were choosing to trade. <laughs> So as soon as I moved them away from Forex, you can see that suddenly crude oil, gold have vastly outperformed all the other Forex pairs. And that's because those products have liquidity intraday. So you don't have to wait for many days or weeks on end for a really good movement to happen. It happens pretty much every day. And that's why these products are the top choices of us professional intraday traders. So along with everything else, make sure that the market you're actually trading matches the movements and speed and trade duration that you're expecting. <laughs> If you find yourself sitting in trades that don't really go anywhere for hours and hours on end, it's time to find another market. I mentioned being able to create custom metrics and individual trading setups. Well, one of the custom metrics to consider is something that you're always doing that is massively impacting your performance negatively. And most people are pretty much aware of what this biggest problem is. Whenever I work with new gold traders in my portal, we always start from that, you know, biggest fuck up and then working on dealing with that issue first. Now in Edgewalk, you can create custom metrics to track every, everything that you want. Uh, so for example, I put down, did more than three trades in a day. Because usually when people go over three trades in a day, their day doesn't look that hot. They either give everything back or they're just like losing more and more and more if they're not reading the market particularly well on that day. Custom comments, they can be anything. Edgewonk makes it into a custom statistic and that can then be tracked and quantified to see how much these bad trading decisions impact your performance, how often you're doing them. And obviously that gives you a, a way to do something about them going forward. Obviously, it's much easier if you already have someone else to objectively point stuff out to you in a nice way. <laughs> now, some of you might be able to do this all by yourself if you're honest with yourself and you're not afraid to pick apart things that you know you're doing wrong, but, you know, to do that without being too self-deprecating or negative. Because, you know, as humans, we tend to be really mean to ourselves. And sure, there might be other things that you're doing that might not be as obvious uh, and you know you're not really realizing just how much impact those particular things that are having and that's also where a very good trader coach who ideally also actively trades can massively help but for now this is just kind of like a small guide to help you on your way to improving your performance edgewonk of course uh, also has standard metrics such as accuracy percentage and risk reward as well as setting the highest and lowest price that your trade experienced while it was opened now these numbers highest and lowest price they're also known as maximum adverse excursion and maximum favorable excursion where these two numbers might help is to identify just how far into profit your trade actually goes into before it turns on you but also how much drawdown does your trade suffer so they might help you to somewhat optimize the size of your stop loss and risk reward but bear in mind that you should always aim for a positive risk reward on all of your trades. Two or three to one risk reward is more than enough for intraday trading. But any edge, anything really over one. So 1 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.5, that's all absolutely fine. Obviously, the lower the risk reward, the higher the accuracy has to be. So that's just like some basics that you need to have uh, to begin with. Intraday trading really has to rely a bit more on accuracy and on timing rather than some home run trade that keeps going into like bazillion risk reward constantly because these won't be an everyday occurrence. Small and consistent wins, that's really what you want. So for that purpose, two to one as a default profit target intraday is more than enough. Of course, all of this assumes that you are very, very consistent with your position sizing because if you're constantly varying the position sizes, so one time you use 1%, another time you use 0.1%, and then you go crazy and you, and you, you know, use 25%, that's obviously gonna impact all of this and no numbers will help you. And it's gonna be very, very difficult to see where you're going wrong because you are you just don't have consistency. And of course, there are so many more metrics that you can use to start improving your performance, but these few that I mentioned are the ones that tend to make the most difference almost immediately. Excluding the bad times of day, making sure that you're only trading the products that have historically worked well for you, 
and then excluding those that were the worst performers because you're obviously not really gelling or you're not using the appropriate strategy. It could be anything. From a pure numbers perspective, you'll be quite pleasantly surprised how much you can improve right away when you remove these biggest offending factors. If you want to check out Edgewonk, they have a subscription-based model. I think they're about 190 bucks for the entire year. Or so bang for buck, I think they're probably one of the most affordable, comprehensive trading journals out there today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you click on the subscribe and switch on all notifications because then you will know as soon as I upload a new video so you don't miss out. If you want to take this relationship further, <laughs> below this video you will find various links including the interactive quiz that tells you which Marcus Stalker's course is best for your level of skill. And finally you can also have a peek at my Patreon page where I've just posted my investing portfolio with all the long-term stocks and crypto coins that I'm currently holding. That's it for now, thank you so much for watching. And here are some of my other videos that might be of interest. Goodbye.